All right, let's see what this, uh, what Louie has to say. And then I had a couple missions to turn in. I hear water running in the shower. The only question is, is Abby only now getting in the shower or is she coming out of the shower? You never know with her. <laughs> Elena knows. She's like, I don't know. I, it's, it's a 50-50 shot. <laughs> What's going on here? Did everyone forget how to prepare for launch? No, it's my fault, Captain. I was able to clear up our communication issues and made contact with Rescue Corps HQ. They'd like us to stand by for a little longer until they've prepared to re they're prepared to receive all the survivors we found here. I believe I speak for all the castaways you've rescued when I say we'll do whatever the Rescue Corps requires. Well then, let's put off our departure for a bit longer. Officers, do what needs to be done. In the meantime, Bernard, make all the necessary preparations so we can return home as soon as we're ready. Copy that. I'll be standing by and ready to take off at a moment's notice. I like Ochi's uh, little puffball tail more. What? You're joking. No one could have investigated all the areas that fast. Yeah, I can. You're like a full-fledged ranger now. Maybe I can talk him into doing all the work from now on. Oh, no. There's the Olimar tail. What do you got to say? Look at that. You've collected all of the musical treasures. How extraordinary, Dan. To show my appreciation, I offer you my instrument. I plan to dedicate myself to working with these new instruments. The lineup trumpet. This trumpet is quite intriguing. The sound of it makes one feel compelled to step right into formation. If you hold down ZL, which is the the trigger one, and conduct with R, I believe it should control us. You mean like this, uh, the, the thing I wanted that's been in there since Pikmin 1 that they took away? <laughs> Stupid. Oh, uh, what do you have to say? This is Grace. It's me. Just drifting along through space. Drifting, flying, floating, falling. How long have I been out here? Huh. While adrift in space, I've been picked up a time or two by the intergalactic police. Is she a lost child or maybe a castaway? Stranded. No, Grace. She's just a free spirit. Just, uh, hey, you're an odd one. It's happened. You've collected every last treasure. I'm so pleased. I might. I asked you. Or I'm so pleased. I asked you to assist with this endeavor that I might cry. Here, please. You must accept this. More uh, raw material that I don't need. But thanks. Thanks to you, the treasure catalog is now complete. I'm so grateful. I'm tempted to give you all the raw materials. Ah, uh, I couldn't be happier. At last, the Piclopedia of my dreams is complete. This extraordinary book is sweet yet ferocious, adorable yet dangerous. It's the most exceptional book of its kind. This is it, a record of love for all nature. We wove this together through hard work and dedication. Reflecting on the little darlings we've encountered so far, it makes my heart beat triple time. You say, uh, read Louis' entries in here? I wrote down Louis' entries. The content was a bit shocking, but it's a type of love, I think. You can take a look if you'd like. I'll look at a few of them. I'm definitely not going to go through, like, all 200 of them. Let's see which one. Let's see. What does he think about Sovereign Ball Blacks? For a light appetizer, pluck the ferns off its back and lightly cook to remove any astringent flavor. The tongue, eyes, lips, meat, and fat are very tasty and can be prepared in a variety of ways. Mature specimens have a more highly developed umami flavor. He is an artiste. All right, what other odd creatures could I get a, a note about? Uh, the groovy long legs. This creature is mostly tendon, so it often gets stuck in your teeth. It smells like burnt plastic or possibly metal. Uh, did you try to eat 
like a skeeter's gate. The extremities cannot be used for food, but you can drink the liquid inside for a zesty beverage. How about the mud? <laughs> Even after draining the mud, its texture remains gritty. Chew it for long enough and your teeth will get a good scrubbing. <laughs> oh, how about the bread bug? Like the big bread bug. Although cooking this colossal beast yields a mountain of meat, every ounce of it is flavorless, only suitable for intergalactic all-you-can-eat buffets. Nice. How about the mammoth snoot whacker? The bitter flavor fades as they grow, replaced by a sweet mellow aroma. Stew the base of the trunk, grill the middle, and or smoke the tip. The possibilities are endless. My god. Oh, where was the, the this creepy thing? Dice finely or puree to make a meaty sorbet. Add a tiny drizzle of fruit sauce for some punch. Pluck the wigs and netetta beforehand to use as a garnish if you want to get fancy. <laughs> Louis got issues. Oh no, Elena, what is he going to say about these things? Although the eggs are small, the yolk has a distinctly bold and tangy flavor. Try tossing a few in a pan along with your choice of meat and fresh vegetables and cook up a country scramble. <laughs> I got oh the smoky prog. Oh, here's the water wraith. Come on, controller. Inedible, known to cause mass hysteria, followed by leg spasms and internal th internal thunderings. <laughs> Egg takes tastes best when smoked. The flavor of the belly and the head is pleasantly warming. Uh, the ancient sire hound. The ultimate ride, plush and comfortable. I wish I could bring him home with me. Olimar's is so much more scientific. What does he think about the actual, like, Pikmin? Has Louis tried to eat them too? A kitchen essentially used for freezing ingredients and storing leftovers. <laughs> what about moss? Convenient for procuring ingredients. Compact with a tight turning radius. What does he think about the luminols? Smells a lot like an onion. The green juice is particularly del delicious. Of course it is. Of course it is. How about this creepy ass thing? Pluck off the lips and serve with lemon and salt as an appetizer. Coat the arms and legs with plenty of miso for a full course dinner in a shell. All right, Louis, you got some issues. But of course he's tried to eat everything. Who can blame him? All right. I have completed every dungeon now. Marmori. In recognition of your great achievements, I'd like to offer this phrase I keep in mind as parting words to you. You can always find me in the pits. I hope we get a chance to explore some caves together one day. Thanks. I don't know what that means. I can get the final Ochi technique. Cool. Uh, oh, you're just gonna congratulate me for the flowers. Ah, we have a, a spammer in our midst. All right, we'll talk to Louie here in a second. But first, we got to get rid of the spammer. See ya. I'm Louie. I kind of want to stay here. I'm hungry. I want something fresh. Go find a cave. Get me some grub before the onion gets it. <laughs> Is he just going to send me off to go kill like random random uh, enemies? Is there is there do I unlock something for doing Louis's quest line? Where would I find dwarf ball warbs?
Sorry, how do I... I, I do need to go to a cave. I'm trying to remember how to, like, view the list of caves. I'm supposed to find Olimar boss's orders. Hmm, I don't really remember what he looks like. Got sick of Nana's cookies, so I tried eating some of the creatures. They're pretty yummy. The stories Olimar told were always boring, but he never got too angry when I messed up. Still drawing a plank on his face. I saw something sort of Olimar shaped. It was pretty shaggy and seemed happy enough. I'll leave it alone for now. I'd like to ride that green donk thing. Mostly been focusing on snacks lately. Guess I'll just make something up when I report to the boss. A green dog thing came up to me. It could be the one I saw with that Olimarish creature. Must have been abandoned. I guess I'll keep it. Tried some of the green juice. I uh, eat that thing. Thinking of Nana. Filled my belly. Dream home. Cradle of the beast. Okay, so these are some of the areas. Oh, spotted a huge dog thing in the mushroom forest. I like the one I have now, but that one looks more fun. Guess I'll follow it. Found the huge thing. It was that pink person who had the yummy juice. Golden pick pick carrots. Interesting. Okay. I can talk to Louie again for a hint about which cave to go to. Okay. Something something hollows. A hectic hollows. Does this say? Yeah, okay. It's this one right over here. It is a little sad that the surface comes com becomes completely like sterile after you do it. There's my dwarf bulb orbs. I need four of them. I'm guessing he wants me to actually bring them back so he can eat them. Okay, the question is, can I leave? Or do I... Have to. Or do I have to find the exit? Return to surface. Cool. You got the grub, huh? Then take this. No. Go get more ingredients. I'm still missing some. Two yellow wally hops. No. Next I want two wally hops. I think I saw some at the blah blah courtyard. Okay. Sightless passage. Drafty gallery. Secluded courtyard. Here's a yellow hop, wally hop. Oh, crap. If it's icy, it dies. Well, I hope there's more than two in here. All right. I really hope that there's another one in here. Oh, 
Not this. I want to try out. Man, I miss being able to do this. I wish I could have done this from the beginning. Stupid. <laughs> Alright. Return to surface. You got the grub, huh? And then take this. Go get more ingredients. I'm still missing some. He wants one peckish aristocrab. Yeah. In the resort place. That it's in the air spread by the onions. I guess the problem with that is that we like why would like we saw Olimar become a leafling after he got absorbed by the onion while he was like dying so the theory could be that you become a leafling if you go into if you're brought into an onion by Pikmin while you're dying I guess that's true that the animals are not wearing helmets because they're breathing the oxygen. It's not a bad theory. And that the only reason that Nell didn't get it is because she had immunity from drinking the juice. No, your, th your theory has merit, I'd say. Okay, we're looking for the resort. That's the engulfed castle. That's the Sub-Zero sauna. That's the resort. Go there. Would be it. All right. Three down, three to go. I guess we. I guess we all have resting sad face. <laughs> like, are you doing okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Just thinking. Not about sad stuff. I was trying to solve a problem. I was thinking about Pikmin. <laughs> One fiery ball blacks. That's it. I've seen one of those. It's in the image of one of the... The beast. Okay. Ultimate testing range. Dream home. There's the cradle of the beast. Take me there. Alright. Fiery ball Ah, there's one right there. Easy. Although I probably only want the fire. Nope, only want the fires. Are you fire purples? And now they're m intermingled. Ugh. All right, reds. We're going to commit murder. Easy. I, lo I love the trumpet. Oh, she moves so fast. <laughs> Alright. Oh. It could have fit Kelsey, who's like eight. <laughs> Giant bread bug. 
That is not Dream Home. No. The plun it's the Plunder Palace. I do remember making the thumbnail for that one. I do upload all of my videos to YouTube as well. Actually, I don't know if that one's gone out yet. I have them like queued up so it goes out one video a day. Ah! My bot is, it can hear me talking. It knows exactly what I'm, it's over here. It knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Dan Laker bot has got me. It's the, the power of, I, I programmed it. So clearly it, me and it are on the same, on the same wavelength. There's the Plunder Palace up there. That was the perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you, bot. All right. Big old bread bug there. I forget if there's one or two of them. There's two of them. Oh, I can just flatten it with a... He's just getting dragged. <laughs> His legs are being dragged under him, the poor guy. Look at him, he's just in disbelief. <laughs> Rest in peace, shine bread bug. Oh, you spend a lot on yeah that's true sovereign ball blacks i mean there was one in the final dungeon but i'm not going back to the final dungeon <sighs> it's in the giant the dog's den fine i'm just gonna look and see what floor it's on <laughs> i'm not going through 20 floors it's near the end i know that 18, cool. All right, Ochi, automatic, automochi. Take me to the cavern. But I did update my um, my bot a bit to be a little bit more uh, intelligent about the way it handles uh, handling like data. So it's also going to be easier for me to add new things to my bot over time. No. This is going great. Oh, he drops bombs now. Interesting. You know, 11 deaths for a fight that I was not really paying attention to. I'll take it. Let's see. What else did I, I add? I've had this for a while, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get used much. There's an exclamation point quotes, uh, command. And I think there's like 50 something quotes over the over the years. I need to I want to get that to start adding more. I 
I am confident about drinking here. <laughs> I could use some water. I'm all out. So if I ever have a good quote, let me know. I can add it as well. Naturally. <laughs> I think that was uh, like a physics puzzle game where you could use like, a boxing glove to punch your, yourself along. I think you did. Somebody had one that from my last stream actually that I meant to add. <laughs> and if you put more than one in the message, it will play more than one. Now that I have all the ingredients I need, you can have this. The extra hand. What does this do? A sovereign ball blacks feast for supper. It's going to be a good night. I don't know what the extra hand does. I like this planet. I want to show it to Nana someday. The most useful ability. What is it? What does it do? Uh, let's. Can I? Can I look at my equipment somewhere? The menus have confused me. Disband. Watching. And destroy a pellet posy. Gear, 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 gear. Extra hand. I hear you can only carry the same amount as a single Pikmin. <laughs> All right. I will, I will, for the first time ever, single-handedly carry something to the onion. This is a good question. Why did it? All right, Ochi, sit back. Sit back and watch me do this. <laughs> he looks like he's struggling so hard. I want to do that. I want to do it again. I earned the the right to be able to do this. Ah, yes, I can gain the pathfinding abilities of the Pikmin. Oh, it gives me purple. Oh, that's right. If you don't have any Pikmin. They'll give you whatever one you have the least the least of, right? All right, that's pretty funny. All right, that that is, that should literally be everything, right? There's nothing else for me to do. I think we can finally call it. It's been it's been a game, and I've enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Elena. 